Hello friends. In this video we are going to learn how to easily compute the trigonometric ratios for various angles without memorizing them. Let us revise few things we learned in earlier videos. Cos of A is equal to sin of 90 minus A. Tan of A is equal to sin of A by cos of A. And cosec of A is equal to 1 by sin A. Sec of A is equal to 1 by cos A. And cotangent of A is equal to 1 by tan A. Right? These are the things we learned in our earlier videos. Now let us try to calculate the trigonometric ratios for all these angles. So here is a table I have created. All the angles there 0 degree, 30 degree, 45, 60 and 90 degrees in the top row. And in the column I have written the various trigonometric ratios sine, cosine, tan followed by cosec, sec and cotangent. Now let us calculate these. We have learnt in our earlier videos what are the various values for sine for different angles. So sine of 0 degree is 0, sine of 30 degree is 1 by 2, 45 degree is 1 by square root of 2, sine of 60 degree is square root of 3 by 2 and sine of 90 degree is 1. This we have learnt how to compute in our previous video. Now just using this we will calculate the values of all the other trigonometric ratios. How? Let's do that. Now using the formula cos of A is equal to sin of 90 minus A, we can find the value of cos of all the various angles given sine. So what is cos of 0 degree? Which is sin of 90 minus 0. That is sin of 90. The value 1 is cos of 0 degree. Same way cos of 30 degree is equal to sin of 90 minus 30 which is sin 60 degree. So whatever is the value of sin 60 degree which is square root of 3 by 2 we write in cos of 30 degree. Cos of 45 degree is equal to sin of 90 minus 45 which is sin 45 which is 1 by square root of 2. So we write sin of 45 in cos of 45. Same way cos of 60 degree is equal to sin of 90 minus 60 which is sin 30 degree. So whatever is the value of sin 30 degree 1 by 2 we write in cos 60 degree. And cos of 90 degree is equal to sin of 90 minus 90 which is sin 0. So we take the value 0 from sin 0 and put it in cos 90 degree. Now let us try to calculate the value of tangents. We know tan of A is equal to sin A by cos A. So given the value of sin and cos for each angles, we can find the tangent of that angle. So let's start with 0. Tan of 0 degree equal to sin of 0 by cos of 0. So sin of 0 is 0 divided by cos of 0 is 1. So 0 by 1 is 0. So tan of 0 degree is equal to 0. Tan of 30 degree will be equal to sine of 30 degree by cos of 30 degree. Let's put the values which is 1 by 2 by square root of 3 by 2. 2 and 2 cancels. We are left with 1 by square root of 3. Same way tan of 45 degree is equal to sine of 45 degree by cos of 45 degree which will which is value 1 by square root of 2 by 1 by square root of 2. Everything cancels. We are left with 1. So tan of 45 degree is equal to 1. Same way tan of 60 degree is square root of 3 by 2 by 1 by 2. 2, 2 cancel we are left with square root of 3. And tan of 90 degree is equal to sine of 90 degree by cos of 90 degree. So 1 divided by 0. And we know anything divided by 0 is undefined. So tan of 90 degree is an undefined value. Now let's try to find the value for cosec of various angles. So cosec of A is 1 by sin A, right? It's a reciprocal of sin A, right? So we know cosec of 0 degree is equal to 1 by sin of 0 degree. Sin of 0 degree is 0. So cosec of 0 degree is 1 by 0. And we know anything divided by 0 is undefined. So cosec of 0 degree is undefined. Cosec of 30 degree is 1 by sin 30 degree, which is 1 by 1 by 2. So 2 comes on the top. So cosec of 30 degree is 2. 
same way we can find the rest of the values for cosec so cosec of 45 degree will be 1 by 1 by square root of 2 which is square root of 2 comes to the top so cosec of 45 degree is square root of 2 cosec of 60 degree is 1 by sine 60 degree which is 1 by square root of 3 by 2 2 comes to the top so 2 by square root of 3 and cosec of 90 degree is 1 by 1 which is 1 same way we can find the values for various secant of a that is sec a is equal to 1 by cos a so sec of 0 degree will be 1 by cos of 0 degree which is 1 by 1 which is 1 sec of 30 degree is equal to 1 by cos 30 degree let's put the value of cos 30 degrees which is square root of 3 by 2 so 1 by square root of 3 by 2 so it becomes 2 by square root of 3 and so on sec of 45 degree is 1 by 1 by square root of 2 so square root of 2 comes to the top it becomes square root of 2 sec of 60 degree is equal to 1 by cos 60 degree 1 by 1 by 2 makes it 2 and sec of 90 degree is 1 by 0 which is undefined the same way we can find the values of cotangent of all the various angles given the tangent of the angle so cotan of 0 degree will be 1 by tan of 0 degree which is 1 by 0 and defined cotan of 30 degree will be 1 by tan 30 degree which will become square root of 3 cotan of 45 degree will be 1 by tan 45 which will be 1 by 1 equal to 1 cotan of 60 degree will be 1 by tan 60 degree which will be 1 by square root of 3 and cotangent of 90 degree will be we know tan of 90 degree is undefined sin 0 by cos 0 which is 1 by 0 in case of cotangent it will become 0 by 1 so 0 by 1 will be equal to 0 so cotangent of 90 degree will be equal to 0 so as you saw in this lesson we were able to find the values of various trigonometric ratios very easily given the values for one ratio we used it in the other trigonometric ratio and were able to derive the entire table very easily that's all in this video have fun you will use these values a lot while solving the trigonometric problems bye bye